Hello everyone, this is Grade 6, Module 4, Lesson 7, Problem Set. Uh, we'll take a look down here below at the first question. And we have, replace the side length of this square with 4 inches and find the area. So S is going to equal 4 inches, and then i got to find the area. And I know the area equals length times width. So that's my formula. And I know with the square, uh, all sides are the same. So my length and width are going to be the exact same. Um, you, we could also find this with just for a square, area equals side squared, S squared. Um, and then we could just plug in the length of the side, which is 4, so 4 squared which our area would then be 16 inches squared. Uh, or we could use our formula for area, which is length times width, and we know that it's 4 inches times 4 inches, which will still get us 16 inches squared. Now the formula for a square, uh, side squared, or length times width, it only works for... Uh, the square. So I tend to lean towards the length times width formula because it'll work um, for any of the shapes we're going to be working with today. And a uh, good discussion to have here is the units for area. They're always inches or they're always squared units because I have an inch right here, and I'll do this in red, an inch right here times another inch. And that's the same as inch squared, because I'm doing inch times inch. And remember, square means how many times the base is multiplied by itself. So that's where I'm getting my units of inches squared. So for uh, problem two, uh, complete the table for each of the given figures. So you're plugging in your dimensions into this table, and then you're writing... Uh, the expression, and then solving it, just like we did above. You're just showing it step by step. Uh, so this first one will go into there, and this second one will be in the next one there. So that's how you're filling in for uh, two. When we look at question three, once you've figured out uh, the area for it, for, so you'll look at problems one and two, you're then going to find perimeter. And what we need to remember is... Um, Perimeter is, and this is a basic definition, uh, distance around the outside of an object or shape, and the area is the measure of the inside of it. So that's what you'll need for that. Now your perimeter, remember, uh, there's two um, definitions. One of them is you just add up all sides, but for a rectangle you can do uh, two times the length plus two times the width. And that'll help out a little bit with that uh, equation writing and expression writing that you're doing. So for number four, uh, we're using the formula volume equals length times width times height. Um, that can be found right on your reference sheet as well um, that you'll be using. So we got to find the volume of a right rectangular prism when the length of the prism is 45 centimeters. So if I write it again, we're looking for the volume. The length, or L, is 45 centimeters times the width, which is 12 centimeters, and then the height, which is 10 centimeters. So now I can go through and multiply these out. And again, because of the commutative property, I could do uh, 10 times 12, or I could do 45 times 12, or 45 times 10. It doesn't matter the order that you multiply these in. Um, you just want to uh, make sure that you're showing this out the best way that you can. Uh, I always find this to be easier. So it's 120. Right now it's centimeters squared because I had centimeters times centimeters. And then I'm going to multiply it by 45 
centimeters. Um, and once I get that work all set, I'll get my volume, and I know that I have centimeters cubed. So I would then show that off to the side. And I see I'm going to end up with 5,400. And I could have done 45 times 12 and then got that and multiplied it by 10 or any order because of the commutative property allows me to do it uh, whatever way I want to multiply these out. I uh, hope this helps and good luck on your homework.